Julia Roberts turned her back on her brother, and he felt bitterly betrayed. Eric was fighting a tough custody battle with his ex, Kelly, for their daughter, Emma. But instead of backing him, Julia sided with his ex. In fact, she even helped fund Kelly's legal fees. Eric couldn't forgive his little sister, especially after what he'd done for her career. The siblings didn't speak for the next decade. The last I heard from was at my birthday party, just after Pretty Woman was out, and I said, what do you do to your hair? And she told me, I've like, done this for Tinkerbell, you know, why can't you be supportive? I hate you, I hate you. But growing up, they were inseparable. As her older brother by 10 years, Eric felt very protective over Julia. As kids, they had to rely on each other when their parents divorced. On top of that, both Julia and Eric used to stutter. This shared struggle brought them even closer, and not even stuttering could stop either of them from going into acting. Long before Julia landed in New York, Eric had built a great career for himself. So, like siblings do, he helped Julia get a head start in Hollywood. I got her first role for her, but she's turned her back on me for years. Eric also said Julia wouldn't have been famous if it wasn't for him. It started looking a lot like envy, because his sister's stardom had eclipsed his. But their fallout during the custody battle revealed an ugly secret. At the time, Julia didn't think Eric was fit to be a father. It turns out that he had a long history of addiction. Six years before the custody case, Eric was arrested for possession of illegal substances. He also had a car accident while being high that put him in a coma for three days. Eric had to learn how to walk again and talk again. It gets scarier. In the 90s, Eric also faced multiple accusations of domestic violence. Julia had long tried to help him, but Eric didn't want help, and she just had enough. Eric ended up alienating his whole family and nearly lost his career, too. Finally, his wife Eliza set him an ultimatum. It became a choice. And it was like, you know... Oak or Eliza? Yeah, it's like, you can... This drug is awful. What are you doing? It's me or the... Uh, or the drug. After an uphill battle, Eric eventually managed to end his addiction through rehab. However, young Emma still wasn't ready to trust her father's promise of sobriety. As for his sister, it seemed like Eric and Julia would never reconcile. She didn't even invite him to her wedding, afraid he might make trouble. In the end, only a miracle could bring them together again. And then it did. Julia gave birth to twins. When Eric visited the hospital to drop off gifts, he wasn't expecting forgiveness. But he was brought to tears when Julia welcomed him into the room with open arms. Eric was awash in brotherly and unclely love, and it was like no time had passed. Looking back, Eric now understands why his sister turned her back on him once. I was exhausting to be around, complainy, blamey, unable to enjoy enjoyment. Everyone in my world needed a break sometimes, and that must have included Julia. These days, the brother and sister duo spend holidays together and are email buddies. What's more, he loves the special bond between Julia and Emma. They look you know, so much alike that I love the pictures of them when they're, when they're side by side. You know, they're both such Robertses, you know, I truly love seeing them together. Julia and Eric remind us that sometimes, what looks like a betrayal might actually be meant to push you in the right direction. And in the end, family is everything. We can fight, but it's important to make up while there's still time. Forgive each other.